there are NZs on campus RN, and a student brought out like a 1997 boombox and started blasting taking the hobbits to Isengard every time they tried to say something. Those who do not share our genes the hobbits the hobbits the hobbits the hobbits, the master race, to Isengard to Isengard and I believe, the hobbits the hobbits the chaotic good. In Jewish tradition, one of our holidays is called Purim. It celebrates the defeat of an anti-Semitic political advisor to a king, who liked to prowl the streets, ranting his hatred. Part of the story of Purim involves the people being ranted at inventing a special kind of noise maker to drown him out. Basically what I'm saying is this student is following a grand tradition, whether they realize it or not, and they should be proud. Not only is Purim about drowning out fascists, it's about doing so in the most absurd and embarrassing ways possible. Fascism thrives on an aura of invincibility, and it's hard to hold on to that when people keep making farting sounds every time you open your mouth. So really, weaponized memes are perfectly in keeping with the Purim spirit. Slams fist on table. Now this is the kind of religious slash cultural tradition I can get behind. The pressure big gay has put on Indiana is proof they are not about marriage equality, but homosexual supremacy. This tweet is honestly art, like it's so perfect, and it was 100% serious, I hope I never forget about this. Like for big gay, rare blog for homosexual supremacy. Had a dream last night that my alarm was connected to Twitter, and every time I hit snooze, it publicly tweeted it, with a disparaging little message along the lines of filthy horrible boy has slapped the screen again, and slumbers on, so that your followers could shame you, and I was deeply, deeply humiliated, but that did not stop me from hitting, snooze upwards of 14 times. What's sex? Some naked bullsh. Kinda funny. When English teachers say stuff like, I can tell if you didn't read the book, or I can tell when people BS their paper. No you can't, you can tell when people are bad at BSing their paper. I didn't even read the spark notes, and I barely skimmed the Wikipedia, and you gave me an A. You kneel before my throne, unaware that it was born of lies. My favorite ever pronoun story has to be one of my German professors. He fondly remembers being mugged by a gang of teenagers in Dresden, who used C, formal U, the entire time. Hand over the wallet, my good sir. One of my favorite things about biology is that there are so many diagrams like this that look like sh posts if you remove any and all context from them. Do you ever think about like ancient prehistoric people? The people who lived and died hunting and gathering without leaving marks, like permanent residences or written language. The ones that we know only by their graves. We know they cared for their sick and buried their dead. We know they buried their hunters with weapons and their children with toys. But where did they think they would go? Did they sing when they lowered them down? Grief never changes, but what made them laugh? What were their jokes, their sayings, their unspoken rules? Did they ever pause to look when one of their half-wild dogs would twitch and boof in their sleep and wonder whether all animals dream? I bet they had sick caveman memes and we'll never get to hear them. Rating the red circle images. Apple. Six tenths. It's fine I guess. Gets the job done. It's a bit shiny, which I don't really get, but overall it's nice. Actually kinda pleasing the longer I look at it. Google. 5 tenths. Very flat, but there is a tiny bit of shading which I hate. Choose one. But it still works, and gets the point across, it's fine. Microsoft. 7 tenths. Now, normally I hate Microsoft's giant black borders, but it really works for this one I think. It's simple, it's cute, I like it. Samsung. 3 tenths. Why the f is it so shiny, that's not a red circle, that's a sphere, what the f am I supposed to do with a sphere, f this. Twitter. 9 tenths. Hell yeah. Simple. Zen. It is kinda dark, compared to the rest, which I'm deducting points for. Overall. Hell yeah. Imogidex. Minus 11,000 slash 10. What the f is this? Do I even need words? F you. 
This isn't even a circle, it's 3D. That's a button. It's also the fucking shiniest goddamn button I've ever seen. F you. F this. Messenger. Zero tenths. Did you even fucking try? Mozilla. Ten tenths. Oh my god. Thank you. Fucking thank you so much. That's a fucking red circle. That's what the f I'm talking about, Babby. Why commit murder when you can have one of these? Come on guys. I'd kill for one of those. I think you're missing the point. Divorce court. You are no longer married to each other. You are still married to each other. Owned. Lifeguard Jesus disagrees with the law. Lifeguard Jesus is found in contempt of court and sentenced to jail. This is one of those photos that you scroll past and then like 3 posts later, you go, hold on, that's fucking hilarious, and scroll back up to reblog it. Bard is a combat class, which is true, because I've never met anyone in marching band that didn't want to throw down. Playing tuba in marching band means you can power walk 2 miles backwards on your toes in 16 minutes without bending your knees while carrying a 35 pounds blunt metal object with your arms held at right angles and blasting every extra gulp of oxygen you can spare without asphyxiating to make sounds loud enough to deafen the dead in an act of pure unchristian violence. Your bard is the party member who will teach you how to kill god by example. Question. What happens after a rave? Once the rave is over, you may go home or continue to hang out with your friends elsewhere. This is a Skyrim loading screen. Mini M&Ms are better than normal ones because they cater to the very specific urge to eat colorful aquarium gravel. A teleporting cat. It's just a regular house cat, but it appears in random places when you could have sworn you just saw it somewhere else. That's just a cat. Literally any cat. I keep thinking about that post about the whole genre of movies, about a white guy getting into a nation philosophy, material art etc, and then proceeding to surpass his teacher and be the best ever at it, and I started thinking about the opposite of it. I want a movie about a Chinese dude who comes to Finland downs an entire bottle of Koskankova, tries to fight a nearby cow, and ends up lying face down in a ditch while sobbing about his ex-wife and having like 5 Finnish dudes staring at him and all like. That's him. That's the chosen one. The 5 Finnish dudes bring him home with them. The next day, the Chinese dude wakes up on the couch with a mighty hangover. He turns on the TV and for the first time in his life sees Moo Mintral. Instant spiritual bonding experience. Overcome with emotion, he begins to sing an ode to Snufkin in a high clear tenor voice. The five Finnish dudes hastily call their live-in wise old mentor. Yes, says the mentor, after watching Chinese dude for a few minutes. The prophecy was true. This is the chosen one. This man will be our 2020 Eurovision act. I'm teaching piano to a four year old who lives across the road, and I'm loving it, mostly because today she told me, I'm little, but one day I'm going to be tall like you. I'm 5 feet 1, I haven't been called tall ever in my life, I almost started crying. You'll she'll be tall like you soon, tomorrow maybe? Harvesting carrots. Jesus Christ, they're all going to carrot heaven. Just showed this video to my cousin who is a feudal serf, and he threw his cap on the ground, like Yosemite Sam. Some edgy loner character in a TV show. Do you know, do you know, what it's like, to be afraid of yourself? Me, thinking about that time I ate an entire family sized bag of Doritos in one evening. Got, dude, I sure do. Year 1 of mental illness, versus year 10. 1. Disney didn't kill the EU. Two. The EU hasn't died, unless you and everyone else let it die. 3. Lucasfilm made the decision to create new stories. Get to know these facts. I spent a good minute staring at this, trying to work out how Disney could possibly kill the European Union.